Hey, orange one here. So, uh, something kind of weird happened. Um, it, if you're following this from the last episode, you probably remember that these gorilla ba bandits were attacking our base. I want to start off with that. I just got a message down at the bottom of the screen saying that the gorilla bandits have been removed from the old prison. I'm pretty sure we killed, like, their leader. I've been looking for a while, and I've found, like, a couple of them that are already down. But I can't seem to find the head boss. I don't know. I, I just have no idea where they would be. Um, robotics helper. I'm gonna have you fall back because I would rather not have you be getting into a fight right now. Um, and crossbow people. I also would like it if you were not firing crossbows straight into our uh, our troops. Okay, guard is doing a pretty nice job there. Guard 2. Um, they're down, though. Okay, we do have... Um, it looks like... Baker's down. Anyone else who's down? Guard 2, Baker, Guard 4. Ooh, guard 4 actually just... Got hurt pretty bad. Southern armor. Did I have you not fight right now? Oh, wheat... Uh, you don't have a weapon. Let's give Wheat something so they can actually do some damage here. And hopefully, uh, guard... Yeah, hopefully you don't die. I don't think you're going to, but... It is possible. If I have a first aid kit, just... Help them out a little bit. Flash at Splater is actually hurting even more. Uh, do you have a first aid kit? You do. Can I get you to do some first aid on our guy here? Um, and who's getting hurt? Guard. I think that that's okay. That could be a lot of damage. Yeah, it is kind of a lot of damage on you right now. Gus. Can I get you in on this? Um, motorist, that would be nice if you were fighting too. Man, these guys actually... They hit kind of hard. Can I take you off your hold order? Um, soldiers... If you have hold orders, get off of them. And passive orders, get off of those as well. I don't know how they've lasted so long, but these this enemy actually seems to have uh, done some significant damage. If you could not be within melee range of that guy as he goes down, that'd be great. There we go. I think that might be all of them. Uh, just about. Just about all of them. Now we should be able to heal up. And luckily for us, because that was, um, I believe the last of them we're not gonna have to deal with those guys again that's cool yeah if you remember just a second ago they had a squad of eight now that squad is zero so i'm pretty sure that that's who we've got on the ground here um people are getting healed okay great awesome i'm liking it uh blake can i get you to do rescuing of people Find and rescue. If there's anyone to rescue, why don't you do that? And then you can also rest at your seat if you get that done. Well, that was a pretty good start. I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't think anyone died or is on the verge of death anymore. Right? Some of them got pretty badly banged up, but I think that we're okay. And we don't have any more prisoners to recruit, so I think we're done here anyways. I know. It's like how I qualify being done. <laughs> um, let's see, Silas, you were just waiting at this bar from what I remember. Oh yeah, with our new recruit. Maybe we could have you come back with the new recruit. We were hoping to see... Oh, um, okay. That Vagrant's instead. I guess it's getting and killed you. Yeah, I didn't realize so many skeletons were just in the bars down here. If I had known that, I might just hang out in the swamps if I was trying to collect skeletons. 
I'm not going to actually recruit him, but I'm just kind of curious. Yeah. <laughs> what makes you think I need your advice? <laughs> An underdog. That's funny. Us, an underdog. We're like one of the most powerful groups in all of Kenshi. Like, for real, we're, we can fight off, like, the major factions. I'm pretty sure at that point we're no longer an underdog. <laughs> you know? Well, maybe we are still an underdog because they do have massive amounts of armies and whatnot. But if I were a robot that's seen... Thousands of years of humans struggling, I'd probably not say, hey, you need some protection to the group that's like challenging the powers that be. Okay, so this actually needs power. Oh, okay. Um, that's an interesting problem. If I tell people to work it, it needs electricity. Okay, uh, whoops. Let's see, what if we did... Yeah, we're gonna need a lot of copper plates, or iron plates and copper for power, but we can do that. We can totally do that. Uh, yeah, we're gonna want one of these. And I'm gonna build it fairly close to our, our copper. I think that's our copper right there. And we're gonna need iron plates and some of this copper. So, let's see. Cheddar. Go get the cheese. Uh, is there any other copper nodes? There is. Arnold. Why don't you also go get some cheese for us? I know it's kind of weird I'm calling it cheese, but it looks like cheese to me right now. And then Tanishi is incredibly powerful, but that lower health makes me nervous. Uh, Igori, go ahead and take Tanishi, though, because we can't be taking... Um, Pet. We could actually downgrade this. But I think Igor, I'm just gonna send up and see if Igor can find some iron plates just wandering around. And if he can't, then we'll downgrade it and then upgrade the other thing. Or build the other thing. Because as of right now, we just need more iron plates. If we're gonna get this this place built up. And I would like to do that in this episode. So that we can then um get things rolling. Can I instead of upgrading, can I downgrade at all? Is there a way to do that? Not these. Doesn't look like this would let me downgrade it. Okay, well. I guess we'll just black some rocks then. And some copper. And by the time that, that that we have enough copper, I bet we've got the iron plates anyways, you know? Uh, let's go towards that lost armory that we were looking at last episode. I think that'd be good. Yeah, the short-term plan is still... I don't know if it's short-term or long-term. Short-term is just getting materials to get this place up. Long-term right now is uh, more around... Um, Get, going to Narcos Trap and getting those robotic limbs and getting that tech that we need for that. I don't know what we're going to do with said robotic limbs. Probably just go attack like another major faction until uh, they start killing us. But I don't know. We'll see. If there is iron actually around, we could actually get some people working on the iron as well. Um, let's just do a quick prospect, because I've forgotten where the iron was. There's some... Right here. Right in front of me. Apparently. But I'm not seeing it. <laughs> oh, Kenshi. Sometimes you can be very, um... Confusing with that stuff. Okay, there's the copper. The iron is not really there. It says there's some more iron over here. Yeah, there's a little bit of iron there. And it says there's some here as well as right here. Okay, well let's uh I'll send a small group of people 
over there. Work that iron resource. Might as well, essentially. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be robots inside of here. Let's just let the game load up for a second. Yep. That's what I thought. Igor, get out of there, please. Oh, man. That made me a little nervous. Okay, there's, uh... There's a lot of them there. Yeah, I think I remember attacking this in my other series and convincing myself that I didn't want to do it. Because these guys I'm pretty sure can kill in one hit. And there's four of them. I know, Igor. I know. I know you want to prove yourself. Your commitment to the hive. Uh, what if I go sneaky on them? Nope. Uh, there's one of them that's kind of by itself right now. I'm going to try and take that one on. Why don't you go ahead and put Tanishi down. And Tanishi, come over here. And can you help interrupt? There we go. Good job. And Igor actually got barely even hurt. That was amazing. Uh, so amazing it makes me want to attack. But at the same time, I don't think that's a good idea. Yeah, Igor, just no, 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 absolutely not. Just get out of there. I'm pretty sure we need eight iron plates, so we do need a little bit more than what we just got there. Um... I'm just gonna go away. See if we can see one on the horizon. Flash if we can get that group to separate. I'm not seeing any moving around right now. It looks to me like they just kinda paused. Yeah. They're not paused, but they're kinda bugging out a little bit. I think that they'll get separated. They seem to be able to see us even when it's saying that they can't. Let's just keep an eye on you. What if I try and pull one of them? Like, can I get one of their attention? Nope. If I get one, it looks like I'm getting all of their attention. Okay, well, that's not going to go well for us. So I'm going to go back and have a look see. I'm pretty sure there's more of them in here. But, to be honest, I've kind of forgotten. Um, did I see them going through the lake there? Is that one by itself? That's one by itself. Are we going to be able to attack them? Yeah, it looks to me like there's that one by itself over there. I think there's other ones in the water. And I feel like we're watching like a horror movie right now. Where is that one? There you are. Yeah, we can we can take that one. Come over here. You can put Tanishi down. Uh Tanishi. There we go. Good job, Igor. I think Tanishi had plenty of space for carrying the stuff in. We could probably get rid of some of this foul meat as well. To be honest, we have so much of it. Our people are not going to starve anytime soon. Um, Tanishi, I'm pretty sure, has enough space to take the rest. No? Mind. I think that that's good, because you got six, and Igor has four, so that's ten. That should be enough. Should definitely be enough. Um, what if I just did a little bit of an angling? Can I fit another one? 
I'm pretty sure that that's going to be good to take another one. Yep. Okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Man, this series has gone on for a while, hasn't it? I did not think it was going to last this long. This is, what, the 111th episode? Kind of crazy, because I remember, like, in the 80s or 90s episodes that I was thinking about how I was going to end this series. But, I mean, I keep on th finding things to do, so I am enjoying it. But I am curious how many of you, if I stopped... Um, recording this series if you would stop watching my channel altogether versus how many people would uh, switch over to a different series and if so what series would you switch over to I'm asking this also recognizing that Banner Lord's about to come out and I'm probably gonna be playing a whole lot of that you know <clears throat> so much where I might take a break from Kenshi and ask my Kenshi crew uh, audience members to watch the banner lord and help me get that um picked up by the algorithm kind of like how some of you have done with my other videos related to uh related to this uh tanishi you're working the stone mine i'd like you to be an engineer first yeah let's get this thing built that way that raw stone will get used a little bit better and I think this should generate enough power but I'm not really sure to be honest and it looks like we actually also have uh, copper so yeah we should be able to get some power generated here exciting times oh my goodness um, I think that this is being built right now by everyone yeah if we just have everyone working on it I'd, I'd like that but yeah, I think that right now my plan is um, Kenshi, Cataclysm, and Bannerlord. But I might take some time off of doing Cataclysm and Kenshi to uh, do like tutorial videos for Bannerlord. Um, I'm going to do a three-day rotation. I'm probably going to cut Cataclysm. But I love that game so much. Like, I'd say Kenshi right now. It, for me, it's still like a, I, I want to say like a 9 out of 10, because, or maybe an 8 out of 10 for me. When it first came out, it was like a 10 out of 10 or a 9 out of 10. Now it's more like an 8 out of 10. I really enjoy it. It's really fun. Um, but yeah, I do get a little bit frustrated by the graphics, you know. Uh, go ahead and take the copper and get that built. You too, Arnold. Yeah, just one more copper, and this thing should be actually built. Yeah, like, the, I'm, I'm really excited for Kenshi too because as much as I love this game, it does pain me a little bit sometimes looking at it, and I understand where people are coming from, you know, when they're complaining about the visuals. Uh, who's attacking you? Yeah, guys, this is the worst camp to attack. You, you have Igor here. It's literally like he's doing like four times the amount of damage that he needs to do when he's hitting you to kill you. Not, uh, not worth it. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was, that was insane. Uh, oh, you're aimless? What are you? Oh, you're back at the copper mine. Okay. Come around this side. Those bone dogs chasing you? Oh man, you're getting chased by a lot of bone dogs there, Silas. Um, they're sneaky. I'm pretty sure the bone dogs will lose you if we do that. And how's our food production? Do we finally have um, enough food here? It looks like that's going. Two sticks could be being made, but no one's making them. Oh, did we take the the chef away from here? I think we may have taken the chef. Um, okay. <laughs> I think the medium is close. Let's go small. We'll we'll go from there. 
Yeah, we've got so much space out here where we can grow things for like free essentially, so why would I go hydroponics at this place? Okay. Um You know what? Green. You're You're one of the unique recruits, aren't you? Yeah, you're totally a unique recruit. I didn't even realize this. Uh, Silas, can we go get green and um, return green to Fort Monroe? I didn't. I didn't even think about your name, but I recognize it now. That's one of the unique recruits, and I remember actually at the bar he had a kind of an interesting little dialogue option. So that things are making a little bit more sense, you know. Oh, look at that. That's a. Uh, that's already. That's full, like to max capacity. Uh, Silas, hold on. We got some. Uh, we got some goods to be delivered, and then green as well should probably pick up as much as possible. Come back. I don't know where you are, but need you back here. Okay, good. You're back. Um, that was not very much. <laughs> uh, green. You too. Yeah, we need Igor's backpack right now. Go ahead and bring both of those to Fort Monroe. It's been a while, actually, since we've ran electronics to Fort Monroe. They might actually be about to kind of stop producing, you know? Um, electrician. I'm just checking who's got the cooking job. I'm gonna make sure that Jig has the cooking job if we've got the ingredients. I'm pretty sure we took the chef out of here. Okay, so Silas is going back to base. Let's go back to these these guys up here. How's that doing? That is almost done. Yeah, if that copper... Once that copper has been mined, then I'm taking it and putting it in there. Just speed it up just a second. Actually, you know what we need to do? Is we need to go to Fort Monroe and try recruiting some... Or not Fort Monroe, um... The Ant Hill and try recruiting one more of those uh, Ogmen. Got a couple more here. Took two. The heavy's literally about to starve to death. Okay, yeah, let's go for the heavy that's about to starve to death. Oh, you actually don't want to talk. Huh. That's weird. They had weapons on them. I did not expect that. Oh, speaking of weapons, we probably have made some better ones now. Go ahead. That, and then I'm gonna actually just upgrade some gear of the people around the base. Because I can guarantee that we have better stuff than what we have on our, our units that are actually fairly valuable. Yeah, um... Let's switch that out. Ooh, we got starting to get Mark III weapons. I'm liking it. Uh, no shirt, though. We could get you some shirt, at least. There we go. Cook's got shirt. Yeah, these dudes don't want to be recruited right now. Okay, that's fine by me. Silas is running back to base. What are y'all shooting at? Making me a little nervous coming in, but I'm pretty sure there's no enemies right by side, so I think we're okay. okay. Come on in. Keep that shut. Box helper. Uh, why are you sitting around? What's what's the deal with that? Do we not have things being made anymore? Uh, it looks like things are being made. We just need robotic components. It looks like. Um, it does look like we're okay in terms of electrical components. That's good. Let's see. Where was uh, Silas at? Silas was coming over here, right, to deliver some electrical components. 
Yeah, go ahead and dump those in there. Did greens also get dumped? No, they did not. Go ahead and put green down. Um, green should go dump some of those resources. Yep. Looks good to me. I know that you want to use your ranged weapon, but we don't carry those out outright here at the free hive. We're not looking to have you kill anyone green. You may be special, but that doesn't doesn't mean I'm gonna not uh, be careful with these weapons. Man, he just went from literally rags and to like mer like mercenary plate, samurai leg plates. Oh man, this dude got like a serious upgrade. Uh, if I have masterwork, I'll stick it on him though. I do not. Okay. The what about the armor? Specialist. Specialist. Okay, yeah. Looks like we can't get him anything better than what we got. That's okay though. He is moving real slow though due to that encumbrance. Okay, well we should probably give you a lightweight weapon then. We'll give you that for now. And we're gonna burn your old rags. Did I get metal from that? Was there like, what, metal in like the belt buckle or something? Pretty sure I just saw metal being produced. Uh, how's this? Yeah, we don't seem to be getting a, a whole lot of stuff. Oh, um, part of that issue is probably gonna be the fact that I don't understand why the raw iron doesn't get taken from there. If I set up a storage for raw iron, I wonder if that fixes that. Um, or iron ore, let's just put that there, because I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. And if we get that built, I'm pretty sure that it should be much better. Um, for now, just to help with the production, take all that. And I'm going to tell you to come over here with all that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'll just manually put them in. Yeah. We'll do something like that, just to help upping this production speed. It looks like we're producing faster than it's getting mined, which is a good problem. Uh, no one's working that, though. So maybe we could take some of the people that are standing around and assign them to that. Hey, Oro. Uh, yeah. For now. At least for now. You can mine that for us. Kind of shocked that we're not mining at all. But if we do that, then we'll like double our production, so we should be good. And how's our food production over here? We gotta be getting to the point where we're almost, uh, almost able to sustain our own food, right? Okay, those are going pretty nicely. How about over here? We we must have um, the farm set up over here by now, right? If I run someone over there, let's just kind of check it out. You're definitely hungry though, so maybe I should be running someone over just a little bit quicker. Okay, so we got storage for the ore there. That's good. Right? Uh, where's that southern armor? Go store all of that ore that I just made you put. Come on. It's a race. Can he get there first or will I get through this first? I think that he'll get there first. Yeah. Can I tell you to auto haul? Okay, auto hauling seemed to work there. What if I. I'm just gonna take all of them and then auto haul to here, and that, that should be good for now. Okay, well, we've got that iron. Got tons of it, actually. <clears throat> 
And I think that we should be in business. Um, hold on. I forgot to actually look at this. <laughs> Whoops. We'll have this be like the last part of the episode. Oh, look, that's also, I think they gave us a message that that just got built. Yeah, we got we got our houses up here. Um, that all needs water. That's a problem. I want you watering those if possible. Those are just vegetables. Okay. All right, looking good. And last bit that I wanted to do was um, make sure that this was set up decently. Okay, we got power. Um, that needs workers and no one's working it. That's weird. Yeah, let's get people working that. Very strange. Um, iron plates, we need 15 more to get that going. But we got some, some building materials. Okay, well, we didn't get this place built. I got a little distracted, but we, I think that this is a good point to end it. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.